let's continue solving problem number 7 or example number 7 find the derivative of y is equal to 4 raised to 2x so the pattern that we will use here is the derivative of a constant raised to the power u is equal to a raised to u ln of a then the derivative of the power u so from the example we have there the power 2x as the u. So the derivative of u is equal to 2. Therefore, dy is equal to, we copy this portion just like a scene from the pattern. 4 raised to 2x, the ln of a, which is 4, then the derivative of u, which is 2. Then, uh, you need to remember that the 2 here will not be multiplied with 4 here, but rather, it will be multiplied to the whole of ln 4. So, the answer here now is 8 raised to 2x ln of 4. So, that is for number 7. Next, we have number 8. Find the derivative of y is equal to x squared times e raised to 2x. So the pattern that we will use here is the derivative of e raised to u is equal to e raised to u then the derivative of the power u. Then since we are uh, multiplying uv here, therefore we will be using the derivative of quotient. So let's uh, apply them. So dy is equal to x squared, then the derivative of e raised to 2x, that is e raised to 2x, then the derivative of 2x, which is 2, plus e raised to 2x times the derivative of x squared, which is 2x. So we have here 2x squared e raised to 2x plus 2x e raised to 2x therefore the final answer here is we have 2x e raised to 2x then we have x plus 1 okay so that is for example number 8 Next, we have example number 9. Find the derivative of r is equal to e raised to negative theta cosine 2 theta. So, the pattern that we will use here is that of the derivative of e raised to u, the derivative of cosine u, and the, uh, the uh, derivative of a quotient. So, let's apply them. Okay, so first is that we will use the derivative of a quotient so we have there e raised to negative theta and what's the derivative of cosine 2 theta from the portion here we have negative sine u which is 2 theta then the derivative of 2 theta which is 2 plus we have there cosine 2 theta, then the derivative of e raised to negative theta. So we copy e raised to negative theta, then the derivative of negative theta is negative 1. So here, we will not be multiplying 2 with the angle, rather we will be multiplying 2 with the whole of negative sine 2 theta so we have 2 e negative theta sine 2 theta minus e raised to negative theta cosine 2 theta so here we see that they have they have both e raised to negative theta and that's it 2 sine 2 theta 
plus oh, let's remove negative ah this is negative okay so that is negative so we br we brought out here negative e raised to negative theta so we have the cosine theta okay so that is for number nine next we have number 10 for number 10 find the derivative of y is equal to e raised to arctangent x so the pattern here or the formulas that we will use is the derivative for e raised to the power of u and the derivative for arctangent u so first we have the u here as arctangent x so derivative of uh, u is equal to du so the derivative of the angle of arctangent so the angle here is x so derivative of x is 1 then 1 plus square of the angle okay then we now have this formula for dy, we have e arctangent x and then the derivative 1 over 1 plus x squared. So finally, we have the answer for number 10 as e raised to arctangent x all over 1 plus x is so that is for 9 and 10 so finally we have the problem number 11 we have here find the derivative of square root of e raised to x all over x seems complicated but if you look at it we can actually use the power formula how so we can convert this into y is equal to negative x raised to negative 1 then we have here e raised to 1 half of x okay so this here will be the same with this one it's still the same Therefore, dy is now equal to, so this is now a quotient, a uh, derivative of a quotient, so negative 1. Then the derivative of e raised to 1 half x will be e raised to 1 half x. Then the derivative of 1 half x is 1 half plus e raised to 1 half x. Then the derivative of x raised to negative 1 is negative 1 x negative 1 negative 1 okay so we have now here x raised to negative 1 over 2 e 1 half x minus x raised to negative 2 e raised to one half x now uh, let's arrange this this is actually e raised to one half x all over 2x minus this is e raised to one half x all over x squared therefore we have there 2x squared so we multi therefore we multiply x here minus we multiply 2 and looking at this we can um, bring out e raised to 1 half x then x minus 2 all over 
2x squared. So we can have this answer here, or we can have the answer as square root of e raised to x times x minus 2 all over 2x squared. Okay, so that is for number 10 and number 11.